Hey guys, here we're here to talk about the new uh, watt hour meter that we're using. So firstly, we'll just talk about the wiring, where the you can see the green terminals actually are, the top is reference voltage, phase one, two, and three neutral. And then this right-hand green terminal is the pulse output. So that's how it gets wired. The other L1, L2, uh, L2 L3 uh, slots there are for the CTs. So just make sure we get that right. So CT1, red, white, is the CT2 and blue CT3. Okay, moving on to the programming. The current display is just the default display. It is a incorrect value because it hasn't been programmed yet. So to do the programming, we enter the programming menu by pressing the arrow for two seconds. It says program. You then press it again to enter the password. Now you must enter the password in order to make any changes. So we press the arrow again, and then we have to enter the four zeros which is the default password to enter the programming screen. You then move into the programming screen, set password here. You can change the default 40 password to something else, but we will not change that. We go down, system set. This is where you press the arrow again to enter the menu, and then you can select the type of wiring system. The default of 3P4W is what we want, so we leave that as it is. We then scroll down to the next setting, which we find it's CT1, which is five. Now this one we must change. This is the primary CT ratio. So you press the arrow, and we need to then scroll uh, across by pressing the arrow. We're gonna move to the, two, the third digit, and we're gonna make that into a two. Notice that this digit is obviously off, so we need to then scroll back through and get back to that digit and then set it back to zero. You can't set zero until you've altered the third digit. So once that's done, we then accept that setting. Get back to this setting. Now, once it's not flashing anymore, we then scroll down to the next setting. CT2, our secondary ratio, is already set to five, which is what we want. So we continue going through. So all these settings here are for reversing polarities, which we're gonna ignore. Uh, power factor so we don't touch any of that until we get back to this menu Now that's done. We want to get back out of this menu. Uh, we hold down the arrow button System set is now complete. We then scroll down Through the different settings now com set we do not alter Demand set we don't alter pulse set. We do need to make changes in here. So we enter this menu uh, We don't change this setting we scroll uh, down uh, we missed that setting and then we get to the constant now this is the pulse weight we must alter this from a default of a thousand so we enter this one and we will scroll through the different settings to get to 10 so this must be set to 10 which corresponds to 0 0.1 kilowatt hour meters to match our pulse setting we then enter that value and then that is complete so now we can essentially exit uh, this menu completely. Uh, you can scroll through and inspect the other settings, but again, we are now complete. The controller is programmed, so we hold down the arrow to enter back to the default screen.